Hello, I am Andy and today we're going to play some Wincraft and in case you don't know what Wincraft is, uh, it's actually a Minecraft server made by uh, um, multiple people but one of them, which is the only one that I actually do know and I used to watch all the time, is Green and he basically made a lot of the law and like some of the buildings and things like that of this game and well, it's still Minecraft so it's not a new game but it's just a server in it and basically it's a kind of like an mmorpg kind of uh game where you just run around you know you make parties and loot and you have raids and dungeons and classes and all of the things that you'll expect from an mmorpg basically but to be honest i played uh, a long time ago and i played it recently as well with some friends and to be honest it's really really fun but uh, recently i came back to it and i was like well I want to play this again, but I kind of just want to start from the beginning. So, because I have a tiny bit of experience, um, and I did play with most of the classes as well, I do think the shaman is what I enjoy the most, just because you can just have some uh, minions that just do your work for you. So, it's, I don't know, it's very nice to just kind of sit there and be like, well, you know, you press some buttons and then everyone just dies. I don't know. It feels very satisfying, but yes, there are multiple classes like archer and warrior, mage, assassin, or shaman, and they all have their benefits or their uh, cons. Um, you also have some like special ones that are basically just the same class, but it just has like some extra skins and uh, animations, or which they just look better. But that's that's just for um, uh, what's it called, like VIP classes, basically. Um, well. Or for myself right now, I think I'm just gonna keep it basic. I'm just gonna go for shaman, and as you can see, I have multiple accounts here. So yeah, so we're starting off the Minecraft MMORPG. Oh, as you can see on the left corner, the chat there. I think I might make it just a tiny bit bigger. Um. If I figure out how setting uh, text size just a tiny bit bigger, and just so it'd be easier for people to read in case they want to read. Um, I'm gonna try to go slowly through them. Um, I'm not gonna read out all the chats or anything, but if something happens or like something interesting happens, then I might. But yes. So we're gonna play through the tutorial just so everyone gets like a little bit of an introduction if you don't know what this is um, just to see exactly how it looks like I don't really want to go straight into it and there's no rush you know so here you go so um, right now we start off oh we start a conversation here mm-hmm mm -hmm. Okay, I'll follow you, I'll follow you. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Well, we have multiple things in our inventory right now. So, this is me. Hello. Um, We have... So, let's start with this first. So, as every MMORPG, you have different skills. And every single skill does different stats to you. So, for example, strength. um, It increases your uh, damage that you deal. And also increases the earth damage that you can people. So you have different elements which are earth, thunder, uh, water, fire, and air. So strength is damage. Then you have dexterity, which is basically your critical hit chance. Um, your mana, which is like water, intelligence, defense, which is fire, and also your agility which is you know dodging basically so you know for example if you were to be an assassin you'll probably want something that's strength so you have a lot of damage but also a lot of agility so you dodge attacks because you're very close by but for a shaman for example who is going to sit back i don't really care about the dodge as much as i would care about you know damage and most likely intelligence you just have that uh multiple spell stack and everything so I think I can just go for strength for now if I... Oh, I don't have enough. Never mind. 
never mind i do not have enough yet so we can just continue on the right as well you can see the quest that we have tracked so that's pretty nice you have a little waypoint as well but it's it's pretty uh self-explanatory really oh yeah also i got this b at some point because i invited some people over and it yeah you can you can get this by if you go to the compass and you can recruit friends after you recruit a certain amount of friends you get different um things out of it so yeah you can do that as well oh also i wanted to show off the ability tree which is every other game ever where you just have different abilities so i just equipped that one and with time you basically don't go down the tree and you just become more powerful but that would require you leveling up and everything you have your statistics here um i don't really know what my total level is 13 um i don't know if that just is an average of all my accounts or something i don't know um i don't actually know what this is i think this is just all your quests are then combat information is how much health and how much uh, um effective health I don't I'm, I'm actually not, not very sure about this one and then professions as well because it's Minecraft you do have like and also an MRPG you do have fishing and wood cutting and mining and farming and crafting and you can do a lot of things so to be honest I really like this because if you're not the kind of person to just I don't know go out and kill mobs every single day and you just want to go like well I just want to get the rarest fish or whatever you can spend all your time just fishing and level up your fishing and just get better at that and then you can use the materials to get well basically fish and sell it and make money to be able to buy weapons rather than loot them or whatever you want to do that's the same for any other fingers here so a lot of people might be buying uh you know mining resources and stuff so yeah you know it, it's basically depends what you want to do and of course we have guilds um these are just cosmetics and other okay so that could be it um yeah so this is yeah i have this you have zero skills so at the moment we have no weapons or anything but we can talk to this young gentleman here caravan driver um and he told us basically just to follow the path well we can also kill these what's my i feel like i'm very close by close by close to the yeah you can kill, kill the chickens and if you see it's the same as the normal game you have oh sorry sorry jesus they just they're rushing me um yeah like a normal minecraft system they have the level at the bottom there um but yeah right now it's just teaching us to go over here and as soon as we reach this uh huh, uh huh, yeah, yes. Here we go. So they open this up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think this is so. Oh, invisible. I was just about to say this. I think this is so. Like, amazing. I don't know. I have. I have actually no clue how these guys managed to do all of this. And I know that. I don't think there's that big of a team that worked towards it. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. As far as I know, I don't think there's that many people which makes it even more impressive and um i did play before with a certain um oh i don't know if it's necessarily called a mod but basically makes it a lot more magical and away from minecraft so it changes all your textures and it gives you a nicer looking uh ui and everything yeah so the the the, the actual work that was put into this is massive anyways so for now the mission tells us to explore the cave it's very nice that gives us coordinates as well so you can also follow the coordinates you can kill the chicken oh it's already dead i think no no it still lives well i guess you can't okay tiny bit of parkour here don't laugh at me if i fail i shouldn't but i think we should break this and there he goes there you go. Oof, didn't fail. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of that. Um, yeah. And then that's the currency, emeralds. And these things are where we get our um, most powerful um, equipment from. So that could be armor or 
rings or accessories or whatever. Um, but this one, for example, is unidentified. So there's a certain person that we're going to have to talk to, a villager, and he's going to help us with that. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Cool. Thank you, man. Um, so we go forwards. And this is the guy that I was talking about. So he's an item identifier. So if you talk to him and you give this, he's going to take some of the emeralds. So he took four. And then he just gives us whatever was inside. So this now gives us plus two health and uh, one extra one extra percent of experience. So we can put that on. There we are. We got this. Cool. So if I can run empty hand to interact. Um, so, as I said, this is just a tutorial, so I'm gonna hold your hand, but later on it's gonna stop doing that. So, right now, we are trying to go across the bridge, but the bridge is broken. So, they're gonna tell us to look for another way. Um, if you look here, there's a big tree. If you right click on the tree, you can push it. I was kind of looking the wrong way around, but we achieved what we wanted to achieve, so hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going forwards, going forwards. And I, I actually don't know how to change my... Oh my god, it doesn't let me look at it. I don't, I don't actually know how I can change the, the name of this B. But I guess it will stay as we build. We build? I don't know. Um, I'll farm these. Okay, we're so going forwards. We have a guard. Yes, yes, we are the new recruits. Oh, okay, so we get a weapon. So this will be our first weapon. So, you press right click, you have a combination. And basically, later on, we're going to learn new things. I'm going to turn the volume a tiny bit, something like that. That noise is a tiny bit. Let me turn these ones. That's very nice. Though. Um. So yeah. So you have different spells and stuff. But for now, we don't have anything. We just have these thing that just just like this. So this way, we can kill the chickens. Oh, the cooks. I'm here, chicken. The gooks, alright, gooks. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we can go forwards, and there might be danger ahead. Look at all of these soldiers. They fought very hard. A lot of TNT there. We can't blow it up. What's happening? Whoa! It's our first zombie enemy. Oh, please let me go. Thank you. There you go. We fight this guy. Oh, we have a lot of players here, though. Oh, sorry, I had to shift. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, he just came at me fast. Okay, let's keep going. No, oh. hearing scary noises. Yes. Can I um? Uh, yeah, this game has a thing where it just kind of wow, it kind of forces you to like. I don't know. Sometimes you walk into an NPC and they will have something to say, and they kind of stop whatever you're doing, and you're not able to move until you press shift. So let's kill this guy as well. Yeah, it's a tiny bit like annoying, especially because I don't always pay attention to my chat. So I don't know exactly if. Uh, if they want to say anything or not and I'm kind of just like clicking like like a madman and nothing happens and I'm just very confused anyways here's the guard again probably a new guard he looks a bit different yes so there he goes this is our first spell now let me right left right um I think they want me to break it with 
like this there you go cool so this is our first well i don't know if we can call this a minion but it's basically just a little oh no oh no it's gonna happen well we need to run for it cool so that's just a little guy that basically we can summon and anything that reaches the area just dies basically so it's pretty cool uh, we saved oh oh no wait can I kill these guys oh they just die anyway hello oh and I think as soon as we reach that point the tutorial might be over and this is uh Oh yeah, it's a big town. So yeah, it's it's pretty basic to be honest. It's base it's any MMORPG ever, but it's just very cool because it's in Minecraft. I don't think I can hit these guys. Now we're gonna talk to the king. Morning, sir. I do believe uh, you have a big nose down over there. Um, did I not talk to him? No, my bad. I was just staring at him. Yes, yes. Yay! So now that's a tutorial done. So now we have a. Uh, I think those are daily objectives to just lay mobs and finish quests and find discoveries. Um. So. Right now we have some money. For some reason they don't go together. Um and we can put the money into a bank. I have oh oh okay, this is this is a bit Okay, never mind. I guess all the characters share the same um loot, which I'm not, not a big fan of because I would like to stuff on a new, but okay, well, I'll figure that one out. So we have like an emerald bank where we can change your money into something else. So for example, right now it's in this, so we can make it into blocks. And then we can put it in here just wherever. And then that's the bank. We have a bake over here so you can learn how to cook and you can learn different recipes and then you cook as much as you want. And then I think he has some missions for us as well. I think it's telling us that we need to be level 3. And then we have a blacksmith. This guy can mostly going to be for us selling items or swapping items that we don't need. Um, also repairing them, but to be honest, you get so many new items over and over again that you don't really... Is this guy... Does it look like he's following me? Did I do something to make this guy follow me? Does he want to fight me? Ah, I guess I have him now. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll call you Bob. So anyways, um, yeah, so I guess for now we can just go in forwards and just do some missions and see how fast we can become the strongest of the server. Oh, it was Bob. Bob? Bob? Um, there he is. Yo, Bob. Come on, bro. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Come on. Come on. Okay. I guess if I go too fast, he doesn't follow. So... This man over here has some missions for us. So, we're gonna go. And we need to find his brother. That's a big guy. Come on, Bob. Let's go. Oh. Well, I guess you don't mess with them. So, in this game as well. Oh, oh wow. That, I'm pretty sure that's quite a good one. It's a rare one. Ooh. Come on, Bob. Kill them all. Yeah, let's go, Bob. Oh, let's go. And we gain some new stuff as well. Low leggings. We need to become a level level 
combat level 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 <laughs> we need to combat com uh, we need to be combat level three. Oh my god i can't talk um this guy also wants to talk to us cool. and if we explore you can find some like secrets and um we can find some like chests and things like that and basically the way chests work in this game is that they respawn and every single time someone picks them they start from the beginning of having nothing so the longer the chest stays in the world without someone picking it the better things it's gonna have inside of it so i think this guy is the first mission that you're meant to do um he basically has some problems with uh, his farm over here as that he has some rats and has to get rid of them so ow ow that guy is a bit annoying but then i can throw down on him and oh he's um he's kind of powerful now that i look at his health this oh okay so i need to poison the water but i'm kind of getting messed up by this guy i don't know if i'm this guy was meant to be here already i don't remember having to struggle but okay now i poison the water well i guess i'm poisoning the water there it goes so the rats get poisoned oh wow it looks not like water anymore okay that guy is still angry at me for some reason okay okay to be corrupted so maybe that's why and i'm sprinkling everywhere and everything gets sprinkled with bad poison poor guy let me send oh i can't send the uh, friend to him oh my god this game is so loud sometimes Jesus. Well, oh wow, well, oh, I missed, I missed a lot of things happening there. Yeah, and now we have some rats over here that we need to get rid of. And I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, so we destroyed this whole farm, but that's okay because there's no more rats here. Uh, let's see what. Why? Oh, oh I, I thought that was him for a second. I was like, whoa, he transformed into something. Great job getting rid of the corrupt vermin. Yay. Yeah, well, he doesn't seem to blame us for the fact that we destroyed his whole entire farm, but hey, that's okay. So, um, this is a good example as well. So, if you look at this tree, the sound trees that you can do like. Uh, you can cut so if you press left click hello um good work i guess uh, oh oh i guess i guess someone else is gonna answer um so why did it not work Am I not a level enough? Hmm. We'll come back to this. Uh, okay, let me. Oh, ah, that's really weird. Oh, oh, no, I'm, 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 never mind, guys, guys, I'm, I'm an idiot. Um, you're, you're meant to have the actual tool aka like a pickaxe and stuff you're not supposed to just hit it with your hand hmm. so ignore that that didn't happen that's uh that's that nothing happened there anyway so we're going forwards oh my god um i'm not kidding i, I, I probably looked like such an idiot like just uh, it's okay it happens you know it happens to everybody okay we can do this that's gonna take care of all of them 
uh, I, I really like this ability just because you can just put it down like this and then you can sit in a busy area and just stand still and then they just kind of spawn in and they just die it feels pretty nice so right here is a chest but because it's in the middle of everything a lot of people pick it up so you don't really get anything out of it and this is the guy that I was looking for so I don't have enough money for everything but I am gonna get a the one that I use the most which is gonna be the axe and the pickaxe and let's see if I have enough money for everything oh I should have money for everything never mind because I don't need these ones yet so with these tools now you can go and mine and do everything so this one is gathering and it's telling me that I have to have fishing level 8 to be able to do this so as an example I can go to the fishing area which is like this and if you click left click you will fish for oil so I got fish oil or right click for the actual fish there he goes the actual fish so this these respawn quite quickly to be honest so you can kind of just go to all of them and then come back and continue fishing there you go then you became level two so that makes you um makes you fish faster as well so once you're level eight you can come back to this and you get some rewards as well um, but we had we did have a mission, and our mission at the time was to oh wow it's a zombie zombie chicken wow I do no damage um, and our mission was to actually find the brother of that god person who would be right around the corner and it's this guy oh. Hello, hello. Sorry, my my bottom is kind of like in the way of us. Oh, now he tells us to go into the cave and get some things for him. But first, we're gonna go to the item identifier, and then we're gonna give him this, this one. And I don't have enough money. Gotta do this. Got enough money? Oh my god. Okay, I just need just a tiny bit more. So I can put the pants on her. Um, if I just kill some things here really quickly, should get enough. There you go, and then throw that guy as well. I throw that guy over here. So guy over there. Um. We can cut this one. Oh. oh, that took way longer than I expected. Oh my god, I can gain more and more stuff. And I wanted to get less stuff for the moment, not more. Uh, that is for major size stuff for us, so we can sell that, and that should probably give us enough money to at least identify some of these items. So if we go to the blacksmith. I can sell and I can sell this and there you go I got four emeralds and if I talk to this guy I can probably identify these three. Oh my god I don't have enough for three well these are both leggings so I don't care so I can do this like this and this way we get some leggings and we also get a new weapon and this weapon it tells me that I need to be level four but if I put them side by side, it does more damage and the average DPS as you can see is 34 so that basically means depends on how, how fast it does. So this one does more damage but also very fast attack speed compared to the one that I currently have which is normal attack speed. And it also does thunder damage so certain enemies are going to be weaker to that. So it's pretty cool and it also does lifesteal and loot bonus which is very very nice. It would be very useful for us. And the uh, pants. These are very good. It gives us extra health, which we currently only have seven, but now it does fifteen. 
agility and walk speed and air damage so agility basically just adds points to agility here and i think we have enough skill points so i'm gonna put i'm gonna put three in strength and one in intelligence and do we have enough for this yes so right now it does main attack damage plus five percent and we can do this which makes the costs less or we can upgrade our totem which will do more damage when you land but for now we don't have enough ability points um anyways i think this is a good place to stop for today and i hope you enjoyed it um i'm curious if any of you have ever played this before um if not then i don't know jump in i mean as you can see there's so many people playing still even though this is quite old there's uh new updates like quite often and yeah this is definitely a very big community of people that play this and enjoy this and people that spend way too long to like gain so strong well i think i just became level four but it still doesn't let me hmm. i think ah it does let me in. never mind i think it's just a tiny bit bugged i can change my pants as well okay anyways i was andy and i hope you enjoyed this um don't forget to leave a like and i don't know smash the subscribe button and i guess i'll talk to you later Bye-bye.